Well, anyone who owns a condo likely knows how much power the condo board holds when it comes to rules in and around the property. Well, one resident here at a North York condominium says he feels a rule his condo board made goes a step too far and he worries it could keep residents from being allowed to make complaints. I got no response going through, you know, emails, digital. I finally pegged her down in the office and she said, you know, it's on the list. And months roll by and I'm still sending these follow up emails, getting no response. This North York condo owner who asked us to protect his identity says for months he's been trying to get management to deal with damage to his balcony as well as a broken fence on his building's property. He says this week owners got an email from the property management about a new workplace harassment rule signed off on by the board. He was shocked when he noticed their definition included unreasonable and or repetitive expression of concerns. If you read repetitive expression of concerns, what's wrong with that? If you have a concern and it's not being followed up, obviously you're going to try and follow up with it. The new bylaw also gives the board and management sole and unfettered discretion in deciding what constitutes harassment. I think it's ludicrous. It gives them absolute power to say anything they want. Uh, if they deem something annoying and it wasn't, who's to say? Whatever, you broke a bylaw, you're in trouble for it. I think that the, the, the purpose of this rule it's completely legal. Now, if that rule is abused by the board, well, that's a different story. Real estate lawyer Mark Wiseletter says condo boards are within their right to create whatever bylaws they want, but condo owners have power too. The good news is that it's easy for owners to assert their rights and change the rules. He says condominiums need 51% of the building to oust a condo board completely, but just 15% to force a rule change, something the owner we spoke to says his neighbors are already working on. Wiseletter says as far as repercussions, it's highly unlikely owners would be kicked out for breaking rules they disagree with. I think there was only one time in Toronto over the last 25 years where a owner was so abusive that the corporation got a court order forcing them out of the building. But you got to be pretty bad. City News did try to reach out to the property management company this evening, but was unable to obtain a comment from them. And the homeowner we spoke to says he finally did receive a response from the property manager just this evening after months of making complaints. He's hoping he can finally have his issue dealt with. In North York, Janela Massa, City News.